Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about how you make the Jewel of the Phoenix. We need this to make Philosopher's Fuel, which we need to make the ATM Star. Let's Google it. Jules Bakery and Cafe. Not very helpful. What's the review say? Meal was $15 for just regular bacon and eggs breakfast. $15 for bacon and eggs? Yikes. We need to use elemental craft, which is these things right here, except we're not using these. These are elements that you'll find around the world, and you can extract those elements using an element extractor. You put that on top of an element container, and you'll get that element inside the container. I'm doing it a little bit different because we have a mob farm, and we're getting shards from the mob farm. So you take the shard, you put it into an element evaporator, that's on top of an element container. The container then sucks up the element. I'm using element pipes to extract the element to another container. And on top of here, for instance, I have an element infuser that I'm feeding iron. This is a water element. So the iron is getting infused with water and it turns it into drenched iron ingots. We need a couple other parts and pieces too to advance through this mod. This is earth, I'm feeding it stone. And we get white rock. So I'm extracting using create funnels with the recipe and the filter. So it won't pull the stone out. It's only pulling the white rock out. Over here, I'm making glass with the fire element. That turns it into burnt glass. We need that. And we also need crystals. So this one, for example, is air. It's feeding into here with an element infuser. If you take an inert crystal, put it in into the infuser, you end up with air crystals. So I have fire crystals, earth crystals, and water crystals being made there. And that is the basics of this mod. Now we're gonna step it up. We're gonna get a little bit more advanced. We're switching over to use these element containers, which hold a lot more of the element inside of them, and you need it to do different processes. This one, for example, is called an element binder on top of this element container. So to make the element container, you need the parts and pieces that I just showed you how to make. We need the element container to make these two things that we need to progress, swift alloy ingot and spring align shards. So let's talk about this one, for example. This takes an amethyst shard, a nether quartz, and a water crystal. And I have to put them in that order, in a clockwise order for any of those. Boom, put them in there. It does its thing with the element of water, and you get the shard that we're after. Now let's craft a swift alloy ingot to clear up any confusion. Gold, drenched iron, copper ingot, redstone dust, and an air crystal in that order on top of an air element container with an element binder. Put the gold, drenched iron, copper, redstone dust, air crystal. That's going to do its thing and make the swift alloy ingot that we need. So we now have enough knowledge on how to craft this piece here, the centerpiece, the unset jewel. Boom. Pop that. We're going to put that right in the center. Take two blaze rods, four feathers, and now we need to do pristine fire gem so I got another fire element container here and on top of this one I have a gem crystallizer we're going to take a diamond put the diamond in first take a fire crystal put that in second take a powerful raw fire shard and put that in third that's going to do its thing we get pristine fire gem Pop that right there. What's the last thing we need? We need a pure crystal. This one's kind of goofy. And is a multi-block structure that requires a pure infuser in the center, and then one pedestal for each of the four elements, fire, water, earth, and air. Let's start with the fire one. We need another pure crystal. Diamond, fire crystal, fire shard.
We didn't get a pure that time. We got a fine, but that's going to work. All right, let's make this fire pedestal now. We need an element infuser, the gem, a swift alloy ingot, and two white rocks. And we're going to bring it over to the element binder with the fire element inside of it. Pop the infuser in, the gem, alloy ingot, two swift rocks, or white rocks rather. They're not swift at all. And that should give us a fire pedestal. At some point, there we go. We have a fire pedestal. That takes a little bit of time. I thought I did it wrong. Let me make up the other three pedestals, which the only thing that changes in these is the element that you're using and the gem that you're using in the recipe. I'll make these up, bring it back, show you how we're gonna make this pure crystal. All right, I got all the pedestals made up. Now this is the multi-block structure to make the pure crystal that we need. I'm gonna take a pure infuser, put that down in the center. We got somebody that knows how to code. It's so cool when they give you these block outlines. I love it. Element. I have earth here, air, water, fire. I don't think it matters what order you put them in, but you need to put the pedestals in the right spot. Fire goes there. Earth goes there. Air goes there. Water goes here. Now I have elements in this element container is full. So we need to take these improved element pipe and we need to run it to the pedestal. Put that on there and then shift, right click, extract, boom. Do that on all four of these. Now we need the crystals. And a diamond. We're going to take the crystals, earth here, air, water, fire. Put a diamond in the center on the pure infuser. That's going to do its thing. And we should, at some point, end up. Boom. Have a pure crystal. I unlocked new chapters. That's awesome. This goes right in the bottom here. And boom. We got the Jewel of Phoenix. Folks, it's getting dark out. I'm tired. It's time for bed. Thanks for watching the video. Have fun and peace.